Hello, it's Helder here, and today I want to talk to you about this Brute Force MTAC. MTAC stands for Mobile Tactical Athlete Kit. Within my Warrior Zero project, we work out with various uh, training modalities. We start out with body weight, move on to kettlebells for resistance, and another modality or training modality that I like to bundle in is sandbag training. And uh, there's a few reasons for that. Uh, one being its similarity to the effectiveness of the kettlebell because of its displaced center of gravity. So these bags are filled with sand or steel shot. And as you are putting in work or working out, the weight shifts, uh, which means that you have to recruit a lot more muscle groups in order to get the, done, uh, the work done safely and effectively. And uh, other reasons I will uh, bring up as we go through this review. So let's get into a bit more detail on this MTAC. The MTAC consists of two main components, one being the actual sandbag and the other one being the weighted vest. I will start out first with the sandbag, which you actually have two choices uh, when it comes to this kit. You can get a smaller bag that the weight capacity is up to 75 pounds, and then there is this strongman version, which goes up to 125 pounds. So once again, with this uh, version, or with both versions, this one happens to come with two filler bags. And all that you really do, I uh, opted for sand. So I basically put the weight that I wanted uh, according to my own specifications and what I needed. And just got the sand, very cheap and expensive at the big box stores. Go ahead, dump it in. There is uh, military grade Velcro here. because Everything on these bags are built to military spec and used by uh, all branches of our military. So once again, just fold it up on top, and then there is a double Velcro enclosure here. Seal that up, it's good to go. And then you'd go ahead and place your filler bag inside of the outer bag, zip it up, and you're good to go. Once again, the configuration depends on you. If you want to utilize one bag at a time, two bags at a time, uh, it really depends, but it's pretty cool that you do get that flexibility because, uh, of course, the weight will change depending on the uh, workout that you are doing or the exercise that you are doing. As I mentioned uh, previously, these bags are, and of course the vest, or basically all of Brute Force products are built to military spec. So on this uh, bag itself, it does have six uh, heavy duty handles here for you to have versatility in uh, your workouts. They come with the YKK zippers, so very good to go. Great zipper system that's going to last. And one of the other reasons uh, that I brought up earlier First one being the display center of gravity, and the other reason why I do like to uh, bundle in the sandbags within my Warrior Zero project is uh, for traveling purposes. Uh, think about it, you can take this bag that weighs barely anything, even with the inserts, put it in your suitcase, travel wherever you're going to travel, get to a beach or an area where you can uh, get some sand or any kind of filler. Fill these up, get your workout in. When you're done with your trip, dump everything out, put these back in your suitcase, probably weigh you about a pound or so, and uh, you're good to go. The weighted vest. Uh, I'm a big fan of this weighted vest. I have a few of them uh, from other manufacturers, and they don't perform anywhere near as well as uh, this one does. And mainly because it is built to military spec, made of a 1,000 uh, D Cordura. Sandbags are made of 600 D Cordura, so the specs are definitely there. Uh, once again, military-grade Velcro, great adjustments both on a shoulder, both on the chest, both on the waist. So this thing will fit firmly, allowing it to become a part of you rather than just a nuisance as you're bouncing around through your workout and uh, begin all sorts of chafing and all sorts of issues that I incur with uh, other vests. It does have a spot here for a uh, morale patch, Velcro patch, so that's great. And what's cool about this is that there are six individual pockets on the front and six individual pockets on the back that come with 12 total fillers looking basically like this okay so you just open it up fill it up with sand go ahead close the first enclosure of uh the uh velcro and then fold it over for the second enclosure let's fill up opens up here with the velcro stuff it in close this velcro down and you are good to go. So once again, the configuration is up to you. Uh, you can easily balance it if you just wanted to put two sand uh, bags on the front, two on the bag, on the back. Uh, once again, giving you the flexibility that you need. Uh, once again, all the adjustment that you need from the shoulders on down. Great material that's built to last, well ventilated. 
so you don't turn into an oven uh, while you're uh, out there working out. And once again, with the sand, I got this one up to about 15 pounds with the uh, 12 pockets filled with sand. And if you opt for the uh, steel shot, this uh, the manufacturer states that it could hold up to 40 pounds. So keep that in mind, a lot of versatility and something that'll last you a while, if not a lifetime. There are a lot of specifications that I am not putting into this video review, but I will list them on my blog post, so be sure to check that out. You'll find that link in the description. Other specifications, uh, different patterns and colors that the MTAC comes in. So for all that good stuff, if you uh, want to find out more, definitely check out my blog post. So bottom line, if you're in the market for a sandbag training kit, pretty much an elite tactical kit that's made in the USA, with an organization like Brute Force that supports our military. As a matter of fact, they partnered up with uh, Team Red, White, and Blue, which is a rucking organization through the Veterans Administration that I am a member of. And once again, I like to support those that support me and my causes, especially when their product is superior to everything else that's out there. This is Helder. I hope that you enjoyed this review.